Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we uh, have had a brief conference about scheduling of witnesses. Uh, as I mentioned, the state uh, has concluded its evidence. Uh, we now turn to evidence for the defense. Uh, we're going to recess for this afternoon and begin that process tomorrow morning at 9.30. Uh, I apologize for this gap in time that we've created here uh, because we do like to use your time efficiently, but I think this is the most uh, efficient way of, of uh, having the evidence go forward from this point. Uh, our best estimate of scheduling, assuming things go in accordance with uh, conversations I've just had with counsel, is, is that uh, very likely on Friday, sometime during the day, you'll be given this case to deliberate. So that's the schedule we have. Now, what that means, of course, is, is uh, you have as much time, uh, jurors have as much time as they need to deliberate. Uh, that may well take you into the following week. So I just wanted to let you know that that uh, of that possibility that will be largely within your hands uh, because once you begin deliberation uh, you have as much time as you need to carefully consider the case and all the evidence, arguments, and instructions of law. So just so you, for your planning purposes that's uh, where we are as far as the schedule. Uh, we'll go ahead and recess for this afternoon again uh, giving you the instructions uh, it's very important that you not talk among yourselves or with anyone else about the case. Please don't review or listen to any media accounts of this matter. Please don't conduct any independent investigation. Please don't form or express any opinions regarding the outcome of this case, and please have no conversations with parties, witnesses, or lawyers. If you leave your notebooks in your chairs and gather in the deliberation room at 9.30 tomorrow morning. And again, thank you very much for your service. Everyone else, please remain seated.